Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, so I got one of these things. Uh, I had a little $70 coupon, and I couldn't resist. They got me with the uh, psychological warfare. And uh, it is it is just a 2 gigahertz. I think it's a quad-core processor. Um, but, dude, uh, it nams. <laughs> Okay, let's take a look. This is running at 32 samples. <laughs> All right, so here's the thing. One instance runs at 32 samples, right? And I got it plugged in. I'm going to pull the plug. I'm going to pull the uh, the USB. It's got a battery in it. So let's see if this thing will NAM at 32 samples with no, with nothing plugged in. Hold on, I want to check the uh, the power options real quick. Uh, shut up, shut up. Best performance. I think that's the best we could do on Windows 11. I could probably mess with this thing. I also got Windows trying to run some garbage in the background that was fucking up, uh, fucking me up. Let's see. This is 32 samples on battery. Holy shit, it works. So this thing runs on battery, powering the ID, my Audient ID 14. And, uh, <laughs> and I'm remoting in like Chrome remote desktop into it so I could capture the video for this and I'm getting, I'm getting performance guys. This is, that's good enough for me. I mean, honestly, uh, 30, oh, I could do like 256 samples and not complain. I'm not, uh, you know, stuffy about the, the whole sample thing. Um, but here, check it out. Another thing I wanted to do was try to run stereo instances in NAM. So I've got a left here that's just kind of doing left channel and a right doing the right channel. Right, right. Okay. I don't know if I'm doing the containers right. I haven't really messed with this. But uh, here's instance, here's stereo instances. And uh, I'm, I know it's not going to run at 32 samples. So we'll put it at 64. Let's see if this runs. <laughs> All right, we're getting clicks. Let's try 128. All right. Dude, that's good enough for me. I mean, honestly, playing with two NAMs is like fun for headphones. But if you're doing this live, which is, I guess, the idea, right? You would take this little baby ass computer and your ID14 or whatever little USB powered, you know, audio interface, and there's your shit. That's it. Maybe a MIDI controller, you know, for like a foot dial. It's got a little screen on it. It's crazy. Like you can you can see the screen. It's manageable and it's touch screen. But like I've got a mouse and a keyboard plugged into it. So maybe you get one of those little portable fold up mousy keyboardy thingies if you need to like fuck with it. But yeah, I'm going to let the battery run on this thing and see how long the battery goes. Um, I'm literally doing all of this uh, right off the top um, and whatever the screen's a little fuzzy because I'm looking at it via Chrome remote desktop right now on my other on my big boy computer. But dude, yeah, that works. That fucking works. I've got, you know, just other light. Uh, plugins going on. That's why I, I, you know, just doing like a little pre EQ with my DI. Um, I haven't pushed it yet and I haven't, um, like I haven't made windows run as best as possible. It's windows 11. So there's only so much you can do, but I'm going to do some research on this thing. This is not bad dudes. This is not bad at all. Uh, for whatever it was, $250 after taxes with the $70 coupon. I mean, come on. <laughs> come on like i've already got the audio interface i've already got you know my midi controllers and shit like this is for me this is good enough that is totally good enough <laughs> all right there you go here's your video have a good one see ya